See you Monday, Matt. Bye. Don't forget we're filming with Kentucky Monday. All right, guys. Yeah. See you on Monday. Guys! Guys! Shoot. Three days later. Ben, that was the last time I had Taco Bell. It was so bad. You smell that? Yeah. I don't, I don't smell anything. Matt! Oh. Hey! Hey, guys! Hey! Were you here all weekend? Did, did you eat all the pasta? Uh, yeah, I got pretty hungry. I was here all weekend. Did you pee on the floor? Uh, where else was I supposed to pee? I stuck to the ground. Why didn't you call us? Because I don't have... Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today I have a brand new, ooh, sorry cameraman, I just flagged you really hard. It's okay, it's not loaded. Oh, it is loaded. Uh, hey, my, my bad, bro. Uh, anyway, we also have a new HK G36. Straight from German, just kidding, it's not. It's a, it's a Tommy Belt, it's a G36 clone. But look how cool this thing is. So, chambered in 556, and you might remember we have another one from the same company. We have our UMP clone over here. This one is chambered in. 10 millimeter. So we got all the HK goodness that us Americans have a big problem with getting because now we can get these clones that are, for all intents and purposes, just the same. Very high quality, nice rifles. So it has the actual optic these things used to have, uh, Hensel Wetzlar. That's exactly how you're supposed to say it, I'm sure. It's, it's pretty stupid. But it is kind of neat um, for, you know, the era these were made. It has on the bottom a magnified optic. It's about like two and a half, three X probably. And then on the top, it actually has a red dot, which is fiber optic or has a switch you can turn on a light. And so this is unmagnified and this is slightly magnified. So, you know, you got short range. You have to kind of come up higher on it. Put your chin on the stock like that so I can hit short range. But if I need to go out to, you know, 400 yards, I can look down this one. It's actually a pretty blast scope. The eye relief is terrible, field of view is terrible. We will probably replace it. This thing came with a Picatinny rail, so this whole thing will come off and we'll put a Picatinny rail up here. It'll still have the carry handle look. It won't be as tall. And then we can put whatever we want on there. We are going to shoot this in just a bit. First, let me show you what we're gonna be shooting at. Guys, I want you to meet Gunter the glue sniffer. Hey, bud. Uh, Nice to have you here, thank you for coming. He actually made this armor himself. Um, this was an idea you guys had to get hot glue. You guys have seen hot glue guns like this. Get these sticks and make homemade body armor out of it. So what we did actually is we put this, tons of sticks in an oven. We actually bought an oven just for this because my wife wouldn't let me put it in my home oven and it puts off a lot of fumes. Let me tell you, that's what happened to Gunter the glue sniffer. That's why he doesn't talk anymore. He made this for us, I didn't make it, he made it. And um, we put it in the oven, he put it in the oven, boiled it all down, and then let it cool. And it actually, we thought it would be clear, but it, it cools with, um, it's kind of translucent. So this is an inch thick plate of hot glue. And you guys said, you wanna see, can hot glue stop a bullet? So we got you. And just in case this doesn't, uh, Gunter made a bigger one. We just figured Gunter the glue sniffer wouldn't be very good at um, doing this. So we told him to make a bigger, thicker one, just in case. So this one's a, uh, yeah, a little over two times the thickness. So it's still, it's not heavy. It is light, it's just glue. So it's still possible that you could use this as body armor if that doesn't work. It's also possible this won't work at all, but we're here to find out. Hold on, getting it. Ooh, my alarm. I gotta go feed the babies. Today's episode is sponsored by Deal Dash. Deal Dash is the leading pay to participate auction site. They partner with brands, wholesalers, and inventory liquidators to give you huge deals on new products. <laughs> Look how cute he is. They make it easy to search for any type of products. 
home appliances, electronics, or even cars. It's pretty sweet. You can log in on the website or the app and you can purchase a bid pack and there's always a 90 day money back guarantee. Like check this out. This is a 2021 Mazda 3, has a buy it now price of $26,500 and worth a try bought it for $2,500. That's insane. Let me show you first how bidding works. I'm gonna jump on the app and scroll through to find something I wanna buy and start bidding. All the bids start at $0 and each bid raises the price by one penny. The auction clock restarts from 10 seconds every time someone bids on the item. See, watch, if no new bids are placed before the clock runs out, the last bidder wins. Easy as that. Deal-Dash hooking up my viewers with 100 free bids with your first purchase. That's $10 worth of free bids. Head to dealdash.com slash demolition ranch and use promo code demolition ranch to check it out. We're gonna start small. No HKs. First up, we have a 22 long rifle out of the Volkortsen, and we're gonna go straight at our one inch plate. You ready, Gunther? It just had a lot more power. In it. I mean, it just felt powerful. Maybe there's a bullet stuck in that plate. Oh. Well, thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I'll see you next time. <laughs> My mistake. We loaded supersonics in there. <laughs> we were just asking for trouble. I don't know, I put a subsonic in here. Um, so it's going slower now. I have a feeling the results will be the same. Center. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Uh, it didn't come out the back. We'll see if it went in the front though. Oh, yep, still went into him. So it's better, it's, it's in his body. It just it didn't go all the way through. You know, you gotta take your wins when you can. Let me see if I can find something less powerful. Behold! Yep, that jammed. The power of the 25 ACP! <laughs> yep, yeah, that for sure went through him. I just thought maybe a bigger, you know, bigger round bullet. Yep, there's a new hole back there. Okay, let's find something weaker. We got the old trench shotgun shooting number five bird shot from a distance. This is the best thing I can do to give him a chance. Hold up, hold up, this actually might have worked. So that was here, there's holes all around it. Oh, wait, oh yeah, that was the front, that's where we hit. So I actually think these are bubbles, and I think some of them might have, yeah, like that BB was coming through, that one's about to come through. And I think those are like where they hit, but didn't actually pierce the skin. So there's a BB that made it all the way through, stopped on his skin. Officially, we stopped a 12 gauge shotgun blast. Well, the part of it that hit him. A lot of it uh, went around. He didn't take any in the face though. That's good. I think it's time to go ahead and switch to the bigger one because one inch, not enough. That's what she said. Two shots, subsonic, then supersonic. The sub jammed in here last time, so we'll see if it makes it. Sub first, going high. Super going low. Yep. Sub did not cycle it. Please, please work. Let's see if uh, this channel continues on or if we have to just, you know, shut her down. I think it actually worked. Um, there's no holes back here. Nothing. No big deal, guys. We stopped at 22. Let's go ahead and just shoot it quickly with a 25 and 12 gauge. It's kind of like 25 ACP. And 12 gauge. Bird shot number five again. <laughs> so dramatic. Dude, grow up. Come on. Come on, baby. When we flipped it over, we did find this, which is a 25 ACP. Totally flat though, and it was sitting right here. It looks like it did not go into him. So I can't really figure out, it looks like it might have, yeah, I think it came through right there. So I think it was just sitting right here and stopped on his skin. Um, Birdshot did not go through. I mean, we stopped it, everything. This would have just stopped right here and you'd be like, ow, what the heck, man? But that means that probably nothing else is gonna stop.
but there's only one way to know for sure. So I got three guns and I was trying to decide which one I should do next because I think nothing has made it through there, at least lethally. So uh, these are my next level of guns, but they're all kind of different. So we have a 45 ACP, we have a 357 mag, and we have a 5.7 by 28. So look at these things. This is the biggest and slowest. This is the smallest and fastest, and this one is in the middle. So I'm trying to think which one will penetrate least. You know, like faster things will penetrate through like hard targets, but the bigger, heavier bullet will carry on through soft targets better. I don't know if this is hard or soft. It's kind of in the middle. I'm just going to shoot all three. We're going to go top, middle, bottom. That's the plan. Top with 45 ACP. Dude, that for sure went through it. And middle with the 357 Desert Eagle. And we're going to go low with the 5.7 Descent. <laughs> oh, look at this. This laser's cool. That is definitely a 45. I think that's 357. And I think that might be our 5.7. 45 went straight through them. That's new. Uh, yeah, 357 and 5.7 I don't think went through. One of them, I think that might be the 5.7 right there. It looks like it's about half centimeter underneath the surface there. But no holes in him or in this thing in the back. So we did just stop at 357 mag and a 5.7, which is impressive, but that 45 with all its weight carried on through, which is what a big heavy round will do on, you know, kind of spongy targets, I guess like this. Bigger. You are looking down the red dot of the G36 right now. Super tight field of view, as you can see. Pretty terrible. You really gotta get your eye like up on it. This one is not on, but you can see that the field of view is huge in there, especially if you weren't in a camera and you were putting your eye up next to it. Also, you can see all around it because it's nice and thin. That's what makes a good red dot is, you know, you sit there and you have both eyes open. You can see the target you're shooting at, but you can also see everything else around it. This one, as you can imagine, I have this tiny little hole look through and it blocks everything else. So I'm like, all I can see is this guy and I can't, if there were three guys on each side of them, I wouldn't be able to see them at all. Old technology, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot this thing now. And it probably will be a good time. So we have uh, your charging handles right here and it can go on either side. You just pull it to the side and then pull it back like that. You're good to go. Um, has ambidextrous safety on both sides. It has a mag release right in the middle here. And it's not a rock in, it's just a push in like an AR. Folding stock. Just like that. And uh, you can hold the bolt open. It, do it does have a forward assist. You can put that thing to the side and then you can hit it to forward assist. That's pretty much it. And we are going to uh, plink it a little bit. Oh, it also goes in the three positions. So we have safe, fire, nothing. Let's see what nothing does. <laughs> nothing is something, but nothing <laughs> is not full auto. We have a semi-auto G36. Man, this is no fun. When you're shooting with the red dot, you have to put your chin right here, and so it's just banging your chin the whole time. All right, let's try a scope. Woo! Sweet. We need more ammo. It also does have a uh, bolt release right there. Woo! -hoo! We're gonna shoot some long range with it now. See what we can do with this little magnified optic. Yeah, this is cool. I think if we got rid of this junk here, sorry for you guys who are like loving this, you know, kind of period specific optic, but I'm not loving it. But I think if we got something else, I would really like this gun. Shoo. Yeah, this is sweet. I really do like this thing. But 
Will hot glue stop it? Yeah, this is definitely going right through him. Let's see. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't. I can't tell. I can't tell if it went through or not. I'm not sure. Inconclusive. <laughs> yeah, dude, it freaking blasted him. I would say that our prototype hot glue armor will stop a fair amount of pistol rounds. Not all of them. It is definitely not 3A because that 45 was like, see ya. But it won't stop any rifle rounds. Unless you turn it on. Turn on its side like this. Let's just shoot it sideways and see what happens. Okay, we have her turned sideways now, right on top of that angry faced man, and we'll see what it does. Dude, it like just came out. No, it's in there. It looks like it went through this little dip here and kept going. I mean, it didn't hit the center block, so it didn't go down. This was right here. So we did stop it. Um, all you need is a foot and a half of hot glue in front of your chest, and you can stop a G36 like it's nothing. Oh, I found a 50 BMG. I, I'm pretty sure this will stop it. Pretty sure it didn't. It's all stuff flying. That little bitty hole. That's all. I mean, the bear's a little guy. Just that tiny little hole, and then it. Oh, yeah. It went through and definitely chunked chunks everywhere. In case you are. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's our 50 cal going through right there. I also I saw it throw glue back up in here somewhere. There it is. Your glue went all the way back. Uh, we have one more thing we want to try. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, you shot hot glue when it was cold. What about when it's hot? I got you, fam. Look, we got hot, hot glue. Check it out. Bloop. How cool is that? The question is, when we shoot this with a G36, what's it going to do? There's only one way to find out. Let's see what we can do with a little hot glue. Oh, it rhymed. That was pretty neat. Okay, y'all ready? Firing. Oh! <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, man, that's going to be that's going to be really gross. Let's not walk under that for a while. <laughs> There's like spider webs of glue everywhere. Yep, okay. Um the answer is, oh, it's coming through our freaking canopy up there. The answer is you absolutely cannot stop uh, anything with hot glue. Oh, G36, pretty cool gun. Had a lot of fun. Oh, a lot of fun playing with it. <laughs> uh, yep, anyway, we're going to put a new optic on it. We'll get it back on the channel soon. And um, we'll see if there's still hot glue in the tree. Thanks for watching this episode of Demos Range. I love you. I'll see you next time. I really actually can't get out of it. Fire! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.